Today, we're going to see who will win the Premier League. But every team will have their best 11. Every team will have all their iconic players, where we will see the best players from all Premier League eras. Because I'm, maybe I'm too good. And of course, managers too. I think I'm a special one. To see who will be crowned the best Premier League side of all time. So I've simulated the group stage, and this is how it went. Group A, where Chelsea topped the group, and I don't see many sides being able to stop them. Arsenal were in second. With Wenger at the wheel, will they become invincible again? But missing out in third was Bournemouth, where top Sky analysis, Jamie Redknapp, couldn't get them through. Just look at me when I'm talking to you. Group B, and it would be both London sides, Brentford and Crystal Palace, through to the knockouts. Palace have such an underrated side and could be dark horses. But Brighton's highly valuable side could only finish third. But as any Brighton player that's left them actually went on and done well. Group C, and it would be Wolves who topped the group, where Pace Merchant Adama would be accompanied by Yota and Robbie Keane. Leeds would be in second, with a great squad of players and Premier League veterans like Smith, Fowler and Cantona. Maybe this time they won't fall apart, but it's the end of the road for Fulham, who couldn't manage a win. Group D and Southgate's Borough would make it into the knockouts, where we would see the Romford Pele, another excellent Sky Sports pundit in Merson. Oh my God, I'm gonna get in trouble! But topping the group, who won the Premier League back in 1995, with Sherwood at centre mid, and little did you know that they actually chose to have Sherwood at centre mid and a Zinedine Zidane back in the 90s. No wonder why English football has never won nothing since 66. Group E and United would top the group, the most successful team in the Premier League history. But we don't have nothing to shout about nowadays. And in second was Redknapp's Portsmouth, the likes of Defoe, Crancher, Carnu, just pure nostalgia. Group F, where Villa would finish second, who had to sell most of their best players throughout the years to keep themselves alive. And Liverpool topped the group, where we'd see the likes of Sunez, Keegan and Hansen, who dominated back in the day, but just not as football pundits. You can't win anything with kids. Group G, where the Geordies would top the group. Again, another club with some great Premier League players throughout the years, but have never, ever managed to win it. And in second was Everton, who would take another points deduction to have some of these players. So many UCL winners in this team. Our last group would see City in second, who were only formed 12 years ago, but what a team this is. And somehow, Michael Richards has sneaked himself into the team. <laughs> and topping the group, no idea how, was Spurs, who have had some world-class talents, which they couldn't win nothing with. But as soon as they left Spurs, they went on to win these trophies anyway. But we've lost a few iconic teams along the way, as the likes of West Ham, Wigan, Bolton and Leicester were not able to make it through the groups. And it's now time for the knockouts. But before we start, subscribe to the channel before United make my life a misery again. And we start the round of 16 at Anfield, where this stadium's been allergic to a Premier League trophy. But could this be the team that brings it home for Stevie G, where Salah has got his defender one on one? Can they nudge in front? And a goal it is from Mohamed Salah. 1 0 loser pool. Villa on the attack, pulls it back. Three Alicia. A goal. Now they're level. Corner Liverpool. And what a magical save it was. It's got to be Mane! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. One last attack for Villa. Philippa backing into defenders. Can he find the net? Coutinho! Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Level once more. Incredible scenes. The move looks promising. Can they forge ahead? Suarez and Luis Suarez with the goal here. Full time as the Scousers slip into the next round. Liverpool through, but could Spurs join them? And chance after chance went begging in typical Spurs fashion. And a Bayer misses. Couldn't hit a barn door. Must take the lead here. Real chance. Oh, marvellous save. Bottle them go in full flow here. Chance for Leeds to win it. Fowler in search of space. Cantona. And a goal. This is why we adore this game. Unless you support Spurs. Late drama. And now they're in front. Full time as Spurs loose. Is anyone surprised though? We've already seen one of the big six eliminated. Surely City won't be joining them, will they? Brentford to take the lead. It's gone in. A real jolt 
to the home fans. Not what they were expecting. Short corner for City. Two. 1-1 City Car Brentford Open Is there a finish? De Bruyne And another one Two quick goals Full time eh? As 1.15 charges are through United will play Dark Horses Palace Where athletes foot lover Paul Scholes would put United ahead Paul Scholes with the most brilliant goal. Uh, he just loves feet. United would try and hang on as Palace would have a corner in the dying moment. United hang on. Fergie's boys are through. The Gunners versus Newcastle, where a dull first half would see a bit of vava boom in the second. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Ori! And that's a brilliant goal. Well taken. Newcastle looking to equalize. Here's Cole. Oh, 1-1 one, one at the Emirates. Uh, Alexis beats his man. Alexis Sanchez, who makes light of the opportunity. And he never looked like failing to score. Uh, the Geordies are out. Chelsea versus Portsmouth. But Portsmouth should have changed their name to Port's Throat, as they were deep-throated by Mourinho's men. And it would end 4-1 to Chelsea. Everton versus Blackburn, and it would be Fellaini handing out the first burn in typical Marouane fashion. Dyke's ball in full flow, but Santa would slide one through the chimney to equalise. Mistake at the back, Rodriguez, who wins it for Everton? Uh, we say bye to Blackburn. Borough versus Wolves, where well, this early goal from Ravioli would be enough for Wolves' exit. Quarter final time now, where it's Arsenal versus Liverpool. One Premier League title between two of them for the last two decades. But who would prevail? Arsenal start fast. Will it be? Oh, back of the net. Big Patrick with the goal. He's so big. Whoa, whoa. And Luis Suarez hits the beans. Alexis in space. Finds Bergkamp. And another one. Two quick goals. Liverpool looking to get back into it. Slippy G with the goal. Arsenal back on the attack. Great skill from Alexis. A goal of the highest class. Salah. And a goal it is from Mohamed Salah. Gerard into Suarez, who equalizes the game. Will there be a winner? Chance for Liverpool attack. Must take the lead here. Salah! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. Liverpool comeback. The Gunners were nerfed. City versus Leeds. It was more like Leonard the Plug versus Jason Love with the beating that Leeds took. Comfortable 4 0 win. Leeds crash out. Rent Boys versus Borough, where Southgate was more like Westgate with his defending in this game. Pull it with a rude finish to cap off an easy win. Our last game would see United versus Everton, where chance after chance went begging for both teams. But eventually, we would see some quality. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. What a chance here. And Cristiano Ronaldo scores. Great move from Everton. Arteta. Great finish from the bottle expert. Aimed at Cristiano Ronaldo at the far post. into the back of the net. It gets even better for Cristiano Ronaldo. With the game at 2-1, United would seal it in Fergie time. And Rooney scores. And Manchester United have made it count. They've scored. Look at that silver fart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Into the last four would be City versus Liverpool. The two best teams from the last few seasons. Where we would see goals galore. It's Aguero. City take the lead. 
Liverpool looking to strike back here. They do. 1-1. Can they take the lead? Big save from Eddie. City on the counter. It's Aguero. And he's put it in for the goal. Chance here for Rush. But somehow they've clawed their way back to be level. Penalty for Liverpool. Handball from Micah. Stinks of corruption. Suarez, who makes light of the opportunity. He tucked it away and he never looked like failing to score. Corruption FC make it to the final. There's one place left in the final, but would it be Fergie's United or Mourinho's Chelsea? Chelsea, carved open United. Real chance. Azar has done it. A goal. The opener in the semi-final. Chelsea on a counter. Robin. Oh, a goal. They've done it. It's got to be. And it's Rooney. United pull one back. But really, they need a goal with time not on their side. This could square the game. And it has such late excitement. Beckham could win it here. Misses. Azar. Well, it's one thing knowing what he can do. It's another thing altogether trying to stop him. Last chance for United. Opportunity it is. Unbelievable save. Mourinho's men prevail thanks to sex hands. It's the final where we see Chelsea versus Liverpool to be crowned the greatest Premier League team of all time. Robin is there. Opportunity it is. Drogba round Kara. Drogba! This to finish them off. Go lit. Game set match. Full time. Chelsea become champions. Subscribe to the channel. Back to you, Mullerks. And there we have it. Chelsea are the greatest team. In this video, of course, certainly not in real life, Mourinho wins again with his park the bus tactics. Subscribe, like, and comment what videos you want to see next. And if you did enjoy this video, you'll definitely enjoy the one which is recommended right here. Go and give it a watch.